welcome back to my channel so today I have this Valentine's Day makeup story for you guys it's on this look right here just felt like playing with pinks because it is Valentine's Day for my eyes I used the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Beauty Killer Palette and I use two shades from this palette I use the pink shade right here called Star Power. And I use a shade right next to it called Princess. And that's all I really use on my eyes. Um, and yeah. If you guys like to see how to recreate this look right here, just keep on watching. Alright, so it's done with the brows already done. So I'm going to zoom you guys in so we can get started on the eyes. For eyes, I'm taking the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Beauty Killer Palette. And I'm going to be going in with the shade Star Power first, which is that pink shade right there. And at first I'm going to be using the Pink Bartini blending brush right there. But as you're going to see later on, the brush was a little bit too big and fluffy for my liking. I wanted it to be more precise of where I was putting the pink shade down so I switched the brush to a smaller Sigma E45 tapered blending brush as you can see right here and then I started blending so what I did was I placed the product down and then I blended it out keeping it on the outer V of the eye see as you can see this brush is more smaller and it was easy for me to just apply the shade and blend it out like I wanted it to be. Repeating the same thing on the other side, just placing the product down and then blending it out. Okay, for the lid, I'm taking the shade Princess, which is like this light, frosty pink shade. It's really pretty. Um, I'm just going to be applying it with my Pink Martini Flat Eyeshadow Brush. And I'm taking that from the inner corner all the way to the center, making sure the two shades blend well together. And I'm going to be going in with two layers of the shade, just so I can build up the intensity of the lid shade on both eyes. Picking up some more of the Star Power shade on the E45 blending brush and just blending the two shades together on both eyes, making sure that it looks gradient and more seamless. Picking back up that Peak Martini blending brush with no additional product on the brush, I'm just going to be blending the two shades together just so it looks more gradient and seamless and there are no harsh lines. I ended up doing wing liner off camera, but I'm using the Stella Stay All Day Liquid Eyeliner Pen just to show you guys what I'm using. Time to curl my lashes up to Jesus, as Patrick Star would say. I'm taking the Brilliant Beauty Eyelash Curler. Just got this in the mail, straight out the bag. It's rose gold, and it's so cute and tiny. And you guys, this is the first time that I'm curling my lashes ever. I originally have long curly lashes, but I wanted to keep the curl and look extra curly, so I curled them again. Just bear with me. It was my first time curling my lashes, so I was like, how do you do this? <laughs> so it took me one and once, but I finally got it. For mascara, I'm taking the Maybelline Colossal Big Shot Mascara, the new mascara by Maybelline. And I'm going to be applying some mascara. Now it's my first time trying this mascara and I made that face because the wand, I never seen a wand that looked like this before but it was interesting and I actually really like this mascara. First time trying it and it did the job. It curled my lashes, kept them separated and it lengthened them, gave them volume so I'm going to be using this more often. And I seen the commercial that Manny and um, Manny Amiwe and Makeup Shayla did for it it's all over YouTube I was like slay queens like this mascara is bomb and I love them so I was really proud of them so yeah just applying mascara 
I like a lot of mascara because I don't wear falsies, so I go in with a lot of mascara. And I wanted to show you guys how my lashes look. That's why I came closer to the camera. They look good, right? Alright, I zoomed you guys out so we can do the face. I'm taking the NYX Angel Veil Skin Perfecting Primer. I'm going to be applying it all around my face, really. I wanted a primer that's going to smoothen out my skin and control my oil. So that's why I use this primer. And it's great for oily skin or oily to combination skin. For foundation, I'm taking the L'Oreal Paris 24 Hour Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. This foundation has a demi matte finish, it's air light, and it's also oil free. So it's supposed to feel like skin, like you have nothing on your skin. And it also controls your oil as well. As well. I'm in the shade 111 Soft Sable. So first I'm just applying it with my fingers, then I go ahead and blend it out with my beauty blender that I dampened before I started the video. You want to always make sure your beauty blender is damp because it's easier to blend out that way. And look at the coverage of this foundation. Like it covers everything. It's a really, really good foundation, you guys. For concealer, I'm taking the LA Girl HD Pro Concealer in the shade Warm Honey. I'm using this concealer as a highlight and also as a concealer. That's why I use a shade that's lighter than my skin tone. And look, I had to squeeze out the rest of the product from the tube because I'm almost out. I have to go pick up another one of these. But these LA Girl concealers are really good, you guys. So full coverage and they're super blendable, so creamy. So I'm just applying it underneath my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, Cupid's bow, center of my forehead, chin, and underneath where I contour and then picking up my beauty blender and then blending it out. So now we're going to blend, pounce, 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 so it's all blended. And I really wanted to keep in me blending out the foundation, but also speed it up so it won't be so long. So yeah, I'm just blending, 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 making sure everything is blended out now. I just realized I said foundation and not concealer. I meant concealer. Sorry, it's been a long day, you guys. To set everything I just concealed, I'm taking the RCMA No Color Powder, the translucent powder, and I'm going to be applying it with my Beauty Blender, just dipping it in, and then setting it underneath my eyes, down the bridge of the nose, forehead, cupid's bow, chin. And what I like to do is I like to pounce the powder into my skin, because I have really bad oily skin, so this just helps, you know, keep my makeup lasting all day long so that's why I set it with this much powder but you guys don't have to use this much powder you can use as much as you want or as little as you guys want but this is just my routine for face powder I'm taking the L'Oreal Paris true matte super blendable powder and I'm in the shade W 9.5 deep warm and I'm going to be applying it with my Morphe E1 brush. Just a big fluffy brush. It's a perfect brush for applying powder. I'm applying this powder because I want to bring some color back to my skin. As well as ensure that my makeup lasts all day long. So, just setting with this face powder. If any of you guys have oily skin or oily to combination skin, this powder will be really good for you because your makeup will last all day and it won't even budge. To contour, I'm taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. This is the Tan to Deep Contour Kit. And I'm using this angle brush by Morphe to contour. And I'm contouring with the darkest shade in the palette, which is that brown shade right there. I really like this contour powder. Because it's not too light, it's not too dark, it's like perfect for my skin tone. Yeah, just contouring the cheekbones, the forehead, and the jawline. You know, I'm kind of shrinking down this face a little bit. See? Perfect contour for my skin tone. Bomb contour powders, you guys.
To contour my nose and to contour the bottom lip, I'm taking the NYX Wonder Stick. I believe this is a deep wonder stick. I'm taking only the contour side. And it's going to be contouring my nose and underneath my lip. Just to give the illusion of a smaller nose and a bigger bottom lip. Even though my lips are huge, which is really unnecessary why I did it, but I still did it anyways. But my nose is huge, so I really need to contour that. And yeah, I didn't want to use a powder for this. I just wanted to use a cream. So that's why I went with this. Because it's not too dark. It's like perfect for nose contouring. So that's why I used it. Taking some more of the RCMA No Color Powder on the Beauty Blender sponge just to clean up the contour and make it more structured. For blush, I'm taking the Becca Cosmetics Luminous Blush in the shade Fox Glove. This blush is really pretty. It's like a hot pink, luminous, shimmery shade. And I figured that it fit the look really perfectly. The whole pink theme. So that's why I used it. See? It's really pretty, shimmery, hot pink blush. And I'm going to be applying it with my Morphe blush brush to the apples of my cheek, blending it back in between my contour and my highlight. Time to set my face with some Gerard Cosmetics Loyal Day Setting Spray. This is the green tea shade. Just so I can make my highlight more intense and set the powders that I just used. For highlight, I'm taking the Ofra Cosmetics You Glow Girl Highlighter. It's Ofra Cosmetics and Duke That collab. And this highlight is like a, like a really frosty pink shade. And I thought it fit well with the pink vibes that I got going on. So that's why I decided to use it. And I'm going to be applying it with this Morphe Fan Brush. And in 3, 2, 1. You're going to see how intense it is. Look at that. It's so pretty. At first I thought it was going to be too light for me. But then it fit the look really well because it was like pink. And it just blended in so nicely. I really like this highlighter. Cheekbones, Cupid's bow, bridge of the nose, forehead, just everywhere. Then I'm picking up this Too Faced um, powder brush and just blending out everything to make sure it looks like it's coming from within. Then going in with some more setting spray to set everything in with all the powders that we just used. Alright, I zoomed you guys back in so we can finish off the eyes. I'm taking the NYX um, Jumbo Pencil in the shade Black Bean. I'm gonna be putting this in my waterline. My always my eyes always tear up so much when I do this part. But yeah, just popping it into my waterline. Excuse the noise in the background, I'm sorry. I really want to get this video up, so I'm trying to speed through this voiceover. But they're so loud downstairs. Alright, for the lower lash line, I'm taking this uh, small pointy brush by Morphe and I'm just going back into the star power shade and just smoking out the lower lash line from the outer V to the inner uh, third of the eye. I'm not taking it all the way in, I'm just stopping in the center. And then I'm gonna pick up that flat eyeshadow brush by Pink Martini and pick up the um, princess shade and put it in the inner corners, from the inner corner to the center. Then I'm taking the Big Shot Mascara and I'm just gonna be coating my bottom lashes So yeah, coat in my bottom lashes. I'm sorry, the palette was in my way. I know you can really see me. I was out of frame, but I tried my best to get to show it. And then that's it for the eyes. For lips, I started off with the Poppin Ultra Matte Liquid Lipstick by Colourpop and it was way too dry on my lips, like it like dried on my lips so much so I decided to go on with something else. Um, yeah, I didn't really like the formula of it so I decided to go on top of it with something else. So this lipstick was a no go you guys, I'm sorry. So I went with the Rabbit by Colourpop, it's an Ultra Satin Liquid Lipstick. I love the ultra satin liquid lipstick formula. It's really good. So I'm just gonna put this on top of the poppin' 
shade. I'm so sorry for the noise. They're so loud. I'm so sorry. Time to finish off this look with some setting spray. And then the look is complete. We're all done. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you have an amazing Valentine's Day and spend a day with your loved ones. I don't have a Valentine's, sadly, but I'm going to be spending a day with my friends and family. So I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did enjoy this video, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And you can follow me on my social media. I will leave that in the description box below if you want to go add me on those. Um, and yeah, I'm going to try to film more. I keep saying that in every video, but... I really want to. My schedule is not really consistent right now. Um, and going back and forth to college is like been really busy. And this past week I've been really sick. Not really feeling my best. I still kind of feel a little bit weak. Um, but I wanted to get a tutorial up for Valentine's Day. So yeah, enjoy your Valentine's Day guys. Um, and I I don't know what my next video is going to be. Probably I got some Joy liquid lipsticks. I'm going to do a lip swatch video probably. Yeah. And also I want to film a like everyday um, makeup routine that I do for like going to school. And yeah, we'll see. But um, I'll see you all in my next tutorial. Bye my loves.